we are at short time. And I want to reorient your head with a few pointers that I wish I was told when I was seated where you're seated. So if we see someone talking, they'll be telling us they don't want to be here and we'll politely excuse them. And there before I used to ask for people to be punished. Nowadays I've seen how life punishes people. So I don't have to ask people to kill you. I'll just ask you to step up and a few years down the line, you'll be punished permanently. When you miss out on the map we brought you to get to your destiny in the shortest, safest route and avoid disaster. The many girls don't listen here, but they listen to their boyfriends. <laughs> when you come to tell them the way to happiness, they don't want. But when a boy comes to tell them the way to lay them in some bush, they use <laughs> My heart was bleeding when Malibu told me we have had cases of pregnancy. Yes. A girl who takes a field to a national school has the chance. A chance many have been crying to me to get the new boy. They want, they try, they pray, they did everything. They, they are those who are crying themselves to sleep because they missed a chance to this school. You know? But there are still of you who come from families that have not quite struggled. You have not seen poverty. You don't know the worst. You don't know what can happen. Some of your parents worked so hard. The founder of Dubai was asked, What is the future? He said, My father was like my great grandfather. Grandfathers rode on camels. My father rode on Toyota. I'm riding on Tesla, those big cars. But I'm afraid my children will ride on camels again. He was asked why. He said, because hard times produce strong people. Strong people produce easy times. And then easy times produce weak people. When your parents had hard time, the hard time made them strong. Because they are strong, they look for money to give you a better life. That better life is making you weak. You are weak to produce hard life for you again. Let me break that down. We don't need to wait all that time. Simply to say, those who grow up with the hardship, they become strong. They work hard, produce good money. The money and the cars and the good house and the TV fools idiots into thinking life is easy. The parent who felt the pangs of poverty, the parent who lacked money, who lacked luxury, swore, they swear I better die than let my children go through this. I have sworn that message. I would rather die trying to provide anything comfortable for shoes, house, dignity, clothes, food, school fees. What we are taking for granted for some of us to have been a call. If you can stay out of without a national school, you remove your clothes.
right now, your name is a number printed here. 49 or 2. <laughs> Ask your friend, what is your number? <laughs> Listen, girls. I came here ashamed. And I want to say this in whispers. Quickly, before your ancestors hear it and they get angry. You are not known yet. Your season is in incubation. We brought you here to incubate you, to open your mind. We brought you here to give you a chance to have a say, a voice, a dignity, a power, influence, some money, some name, some presence. The people over here are dressing the way they want. You, you're dressing the way you ought. <laughs> They're dressing how they feel like. You're dressing the way you must. School uniform, tuck in, step right left. <laughs> are you lesser than them? I don't think so. Some of you are brighter than us. You're going farther than us. You're sharper than us. I did not come here to show you the way for you only to come behind me. I came to show you the way for you to pass past me and go to the world. I am speaking in a school. I want you to speak to the continent. I may be on a local TV. Why don't you go to CNN? I've reached the citizen. Why, why, why only run after citizen? Zulu has been there. Go to CNN. But I am so embarrassed that this is even a topic. Listen, if I had been called to another school that is most of the people there are academically challenged. Who's upstairs? <laughs> There's nothing much to say about it. <laughs> I would understand when that girl is distracted to try get attention, which is wrong, but I would almost understand. She got nothing in KCP, she doesn't enjoy in classes, and you are in the class dragging herself along. If I had been caught in a school like that, I would comfort them about other gifts that are not intellectual. I would tell them about Tibet, I would tell them about other skills they can do, because God never sent anybody useless on earth. They just have alternative gifts. Some of them are best singers, best artists, best performers. They have a lot of skills that the academic curriculum does not have. We bring them to school so they can learn how to think, communicate, live among people. Later they go to their life. Many of them will be very successful. And they come from so-called village schools. But because they are graded so low, D minor, E, they can get distracted and sleep with boys. In this life, a girl who scored like a star, Top is a pride of a family, pride of a primary school, pride of a village, the hope of a nation. Which business do you have? Having so high hopes, gifted brain, vocal, skilled, youthful, so gifted. You have, most of you have more than three gifts. Two of us. I can sing, I can. You recited uh, verses in nursery school, in, in, in school, in Sunday school. You made other kids look foolish. True or false? True. They are struggling with one verse, you are reciting 20. And the teacher can tell you, please let others take the others now. <laughs> with all this gift and skill, my sister, just help me understand. Where do you find the courage to keep a boy's photo? <laughs> Hello! you find the courage to write a letter in arousing emotions to bewitch your brain to say I love you so that you can convince your brain from focusing on your dreams and you go to disaster willingly are you bewitched <laughs> so 
Some of you, I acknowledge you have never been loved by your father. Some of your mothers have brought you alone. They are bitter, they have been abandoned. Your fathers are deadbeats. But I also know other men who are deadbeats like Adam. Adam was not there when the snake was teaching Eve what God said. God had taught Adam before he created Eve so that Adam can teach Eve. But Adam was asleep so that the snake gave a twisted sermon to, to Eve and I gave the application. That's of the eighth epoch. That's why we are here. <laughs> Fathers have been failing. If your father abandoned you, I am sorry. But me too. I have told you my story that I'm one of the guys who never saw marriage. I only saw chaos, mayhem, a man and a woman fighting, blows, insults, chaos, tension, mayhem. I grew up in a war zone. If your parents have been fighting, you are my colleague. <laughs> we need to form a WhatsApp group. Listen, some of you are looking for boyfriends because your fathers have never connected with you. You've never been hugged by a man who did not have ulterior motives. So the first time a boy hugged you, you were confused. Something melted. One girl told the, her mother when she came home today, we were in the school bus and Tony was giving Ben a pen across my neck and touched my neck accidentally and I felt electricity. <laughs> and she wanted a polite explanation from my mother why Tony's hands are charged with electricity. Some of you felt electricity when you hugged Kimondi. And some of you went for those dancing parties after party, enter after the function. The kind of dancing that was there was meant to induce you, to introduce you to the addictive drug of sexual infatuation. The kind of dancing was sexually in, in, insinuative, innuendo of dancing like you're having sex. And I am sorry. I am sorry. To those of you who become stars in pornographic dancing, mimicking sex, and you think you are stylish by behaving like. <laughs> Hello! I am apologetic, some of you. The most important part about you, you listen to the boys who broke you down to pieces. It's no longer how you think, it's how you look. It's no longer how you talk, it's how you can walk, how you can talk. Listen, I apologize for some of you that can be turned. She was paged, paged, paged. Pregnancy is not a page, it's a hell. Teenage pregnancy changes the course of your life for good. I don't talk to high schools. I focus on online to reach a, a large audience. I started with the high schools, but I went to the large audience. I came here because you have a special spot in my heart. <laughs> the whole of this year, I have not spoken to any school and I don't plan to. I give them very high fees to leave me alone. I want to reach them online so that I can talk to you individually. I realize when you talk to groups, many of you are just looking at you like a donkey. <laughs> the reason I teach on YouTube, Facebook is because you must come individually to hear from me. When I go to a school, a bell is rung, a command is issued, gathered into a hall. Some are here physically, but don't mention. Find it infuriating. But this school, all of you are gifted. All of you have potential. All of you are chosen. You are hand you are earmarked by destiny. I came to warn you about another person who has earmarked you. I was like you, the only child who is shining. 
the first child to show exceptional promise. I was like you. Unfortunately, I did not have me to talk to you the way I'm talking to you. I had to do trial and error. And that journey is difficult. There are too many falls and risings. The journey of learning on your own is so painful, I came to spare you. Some of you even shame others for saying the virgins. Because you have already lost you as you are, you, are, you are pushing others to lose it, connecting them with the boyfriend. Instead of being a destiny connector, you are a destruction connector. Some of you have changed your clothes. You have other clothes that make you look sexier. Idiot. Your journey is too short. There are other girls who are prettier. They have a degree. Prettier. They have a car. Prettier. They have a job. Prettier. They have a bank account. You are pretty and you have what? Admission number. Listen. Those of you who have made your stand. That you will walk the straight path until you achieve your goals. I am with you. Don't feel alone. You are in the right group. I was like you. I did not have a motivational speaker. My motivational speaker was my background. When I remember my mother crying. Having to work for food. When I remember my father drunk. Crazy. Hostile. Animal like. When I saw cars on the road. And I dreamed of driving one. When I saw beautiful girls doing weddings. And I'm standing on the road and they're singing. And they don't notice me because I have, no, I have nothing to be identified. When you are young, you are not known. But you can decide how you want to be known. As long as you get a chance to get to school. When I landed St. Charles Wanga from one, I could not believe I was pinching my... Is it me? I said in my heart, Mutaniona. Muneza kuwa na Mercedes Benz nyumbani, na Marentos. Lakini, nikie kwa class moja na nyi, niliwaita quietly, wajinga nyi. Yili watusi kwa sababu wadikuwa na attitude. Sisi ya tukuwa na pocket money, unapewa miyamoto. Jamaa napewa so much money. Wananiona nikiwa lesa. I got angry. And I said, I will act my anger. You will see me. In four years, I was driven by revenge. I will revenge against those who think I am lesser just because of my background. I will revenge against those who think they are better than me because of the efforts of their parents. I had a revenge mission. I studied like a person in war. Continue fighting, my sister. Whatever you have said, continue. It will work. It worked for me. That anger, that frustration, that need, take it to class. It works. We were admitted in class. Prefect. Of my, of my destiny. I am in charge, I am in charge of kicking out, out nuisance, petty thieves, petty thieves. Vermin. vermin. Say vermin. vermin. Vermin means pests. Crop pests which come to make noise in your space. Listen. I could not sleep with a girl for fear. If you have C level, you can be paid fees for. Your parents can pay school fees, university. Go and conquer the world. Become Teresa May. Become Condoleezza Rice. Become Mother Teresa. Become Suluhu Samia. Become the woman, the first one to set a new record. Become the CJ, the mother call me. Set a goal and go for it. Up that of university now, this guy is pretty. Nilimuambia, unajua, una, you are disrespecting me. Who do you take me for? You never have sex with anyone. Never have to worry about, you know when you sleep with a boy, you have to worry whether he will tell the secret. Kuna msema, yuku kwa tunasema, ukise ngenyana na kijana utahacha kulia, kikikufa. If you gossip with a boy, you cry until he dies. 
If you sleep with a boy, you will worry until he dies. He can sabotage you. Some of them take photos. They can use them to ruin your name. Never remove your clothes for anyone until you are inside the security of marriage. Never. The emotions, the temptations will be there. Some of these girls, when they come from home, they are only discussing boyfriends. And you feel out of place because you have no story to tell. You look mushamba and boring. They even call you boring. <laughs> Only the boring win the battle because the boring are usually focused. Yes. Better to be boring now. Endure solitude now. And you remove solitude from your life when you finally marry the true soulmate at the right season in your life. I was boring like you. I do not have exciting stories of girlfriends. I do not have money. But I was focused. Who has had the last laugh? Those guys who are in drugs, girlfriends. Today, today, they are nowhere in my league. Follow my path. It works. Believe God. Pray. Work hard. Sweat your way. If you sweat when you are young, you will not need to sweat when you are old. I see women who wake up at 4 a.m. carrying buckets to go do very hard work with very small profit. Very small profit. They work very hard because they slept when in school. Those who are sleeping now, they wake up the rest of their life. Those who are waking up now, they'll be free to sleep when they want the rest of their life. I came to split you from your girl group. The group that says it's fashionable to, to learn the modern dance move. To rap. To collect photos of celebrities. Some of you have a collection. Where will the collection take you? That is only a collection of your foolishness. Some of you are the updaters of who is dating who, who dumped who. They are the connectors, the suppliers, and the general merchants of boyfriends. Listen. Listen. I want to wind up this topic. I take you to the next one. Because you are living in uncertain times. Nobody has ever studied in circumstances which you are studying. The world has never been here. At least in our, in our, in our era. I want to close this chapter by telling you this. You can never make history by eating the seed. You can never make history by eating the seed. Ha! Hurry up quickly. I want, I want us to recite some things. What is the seed? If a farmer eats seed, his future is doomed. True or false? Say my teenage is seed. My school life is seed. If you squander your teenage, your school life by laziness, by sleeping, by having premarital sex, by pornography, by masturbation, by gaming, letters, trading boys, gossiping, fighting teachers, nicknaming, fighting the other. Trying to bring down who? Having a Gaza group. Talking about pregnant group. Talking about Nairobi group. Tao group. If you waste your teenage with things that have no connection with your destiny. Your future is gloom. Is dark. Some of you when schools close. You take a matatu that has loud music. So that you can look modern. And you can afford to pay it and look classy now in a very inside a bottle that is being burnt. Boom, boom, boom. No, that is stylish. Your case is miserable. I don't want your company. Can't afford the car. Can't afford the music. Can't afford the talent. You're just there dancing like a zombie and you think you're one of them. Some of you, you woke up with your boyfriends at Kitui Town. Now you think you are stylish. 
Then you get to the same tattoo and start removing clothes and fondly and the exciting emotions. You are squandering the seed of your teenage and your future is miserable. There is nothing fashionable in removing your breasts and letting a boy press them. Even if you rub a boy with your behind, what do you score? Even if you kiss a boy when you don't know where you're going, you're exchanging saliva with another guy who's as demon possessed as you. Now you think you are stylish, idiot. Some of you are very beautiful. Some of you are very beautiful. You stand out. My sister, let me use you. Hello. This light sister. Hello. I am sure she receives more praise from boys than you. Where? Hello? Accept your position in life to minimize stress. Okay. The rest of you Keep quiet. Let me talk to my sister. Anyway, my sister, listen. They might have told you that beautiful girls don't go far usually. Somewhere along the way, a crocodile bites their leg. Yellow, yellow. You know in Kikuyu land, girls are yellow, yellow a lot. Are there some girls from Central here? Very yellow, yellow. Many of them. Yeah. Stop saying yes and you are not one of them. I can see you. <laughs> so listen, my sister, this is what I want to tell you. We are come. Our people are falling in love with the whites. So they try to say when you look like European, white, American, you are more superior. So they put pressure on our African girls to look somehow Western. And they make that look superior. My sister, you're beautiful the way you are, but don't try to mimic the West. Let me tell you what is it about us. Beauty is not how you look. How you look is only chapter one of your beauty. Chapter two is how, you, how confident you are in yourself. Confidence is more beautiful than calves. Listen. Self-respect is more important than color. Huh? So if you are light skin or dark skin, I will tell you the, right, the best makeup to add and you will be unbeatable. Add the makeup called confidence. Boldness. Just show up. Hey, good morning. My name is Maggie. I'm here to present you about a product we are inventing. I want you to get where in Guinea Science Club invent things. Go to mathematics club, practice things. Go to basketball, netball, practice things. Develop yourself in class. Apply your best self. Always step up. Ask questions. Answer. Talk. Believe in yourself, and the world will pay attention. <laughs> My God, she's so confident. I admire that. Learn to be born. You suddenly look beautiful, irrespective of your skin color. <coughs> Those of you who are light, I can see other, I was just using, I can see others who are, who are more notable. When you are seated, your skin color makes you pop. If you are timid, people avoid you. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Some of you have very beautiful hair. I can see it from here. Who believes they have beautiful hair? That is a fact. If it is not there, don't believe it. <laughs> Some of them say, it's there by faith. <laughs> <laughs> There's a time and a season for every matter under the sun. If you can't afford hair, it's stressing you, cut it now. The time will come. If you can afford it, keep it now and be humble. Don't look down on those who don't have. Some of you have shape. 
Some of you have model body. Whatever body you are working with, I want you to learn to be bold, assertive, confident. Even when you are saying nonsense, say it with a smile. Imagine, teacher is asking, so students, which was the first country to get independence? Djibouti. 